Hello everyone. I read a story for you today. Listen carefully. The title is "The Mouse in the Garage." Let's begin. Once there was an artist who lived in Kansas in the in the United States. He was not a very good artist. No one bought his art, so he did not have very much money. He had a very poor studio in his father's father's garage. One day, the artist was sitting in the garage. He was trying. He was trying to. Th- Think of something to draw. Suddenly, a mouse came out a crack in the floor. The mouse began to play. The artist watched it. Then the artist went into the house. He brought some bread out to the garage. He fed the mouse. The next day, the mouse came again. The artist and the mouse became friends. The artist. Up the, the artist climbed up. The mouse climbed up on the artist's drawing board. He fed the little animal every day. Then one day, the artist went away. He went to Hollywood to work for a movie company. The artist was not successful in Hollywood either. He did not have very. He did not have very much to do. He did not have much money. He just sat in his boarding house all day. One day, he remembered that little mouse in the garage in Kansas. He drew a few pictures of his little friend. He felt happy. The artist was Walt Disney. The mouse was Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse became the most famous actor in the world. More people in more countries have seen Mickey Mouse than any other actor. Mickey Mouse gets more fan letters than any other actor. Walt Disney never thought that this mouse would become so famous. Walt Disney drew many other famous characters. Somewhere new, the the other characters were people knew already. His movies became very famous throughout the world. He made the famous movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Children all over the world knew the story of Snow White. It has become one of the most popular new movies ever. One day, Walt Disney had another wonderful idea. He wanted to build a whole Disney kind of place. He wanted children and adults to enjoy this wonderful place together. He built his wonderful imaginary world in California. Now Disneyland is a place for people from all over the world to enjoy. With his amazing imagination, Walt Disney brought wonder and joy into the lives of lives of millions of people throughout the world. Did you enjoy the story? Next time, I'll read you. I'll read you another wonderful story. Then see you next time.